and lifts the burden from the heavy laden. For yet the Savior, Savior of the world is here. I want to welcome you all to the 29th day of counting the Omer. Yes! <laughs> and as I was praying about um, this being the 29th day, what I felt like the Lord said was, um, 29 is leap day, and that's the day that you get to leap ahead. And then this morning in church, it was all about leaping. So Lord, we just say today that you are leaping us ahead, that you are pressing us forward into new things, that we are going faster, that we are going farther, that we are going higher than we have been before. So Lord, as we place this 29th sheet of wheat into our um, omer, we just say, Lord, we are leaping forward with you and you are calling us up higher and we are hearing you, we are responding and we are coming. Like oil upon your feet, like a wine for you to drink, like water from my heart. My love on you. The praise is like perfume. I lavish mine on you. And with every 
every drop is gone. I pour my love on you. Pour my love on you. Like oil upon your feet. Like wine for you to drink. Like water from my heart. we want to focus on praying for tonight is China. And um, just as John was singing this, I just was reminded of the videos that you see of the Chinese church, of the underground church meeting in secret and their fervency and their devotion and their passion for the Lord. And so, Lord, we just lift up that underground church in China. Lord, we thank you that they have said in their hearts, we will pour out everything we have on you. We will spend our lives. We will risk our lives to be devoted to you and to love you. And Lord, we just ask for you to strengthen them. We ask for your grace to be poured out upon them. Lord, we ask that as they pour their love upon you, that you would pour back into them, that they would be filled with the love and with the joy and with the fullness of all that you are. Same 
placed alone, I place my trust and find my glory in the power of the cross. And every victory, let it be said of me, my source of strength, my source of hope. Is Christ alone? In Christ alone, I place my trust and find my glory in the power of the cross. For we say there's power in the cross. There's no other power that can overcome that power in the cross. In every victory, let it be said of me, my source of strength, my source of hope is Christ alone. And when John started singing about the chosen seed of Israel, one of the things that's interesting about China was that during World War II, there were more Jews saved in Shanghai than in any other nation in the world. In that one city, there were more Jews that found refuge and that were saved. And so, Lord, we just thank you for that righteous root that is in China. Lord, we thank you that your word says that those who bless Israel, you will bless. And so, Lord, we just call up that blessing that is re resident in the land. We say it is time for it to come forward. It is time for it to come to fruition. It is time for China once again to rise up, to stand with Israel, and to bless Israel. So, Lord, we speak to the persecuted church now. And we thank you, Lord, that because that China was a haven for the persecuted Jews, Lord, that the blessing back at them, Lord, is a safe haven for the persecuted ones, Lord, that are serving kingdom plans and purposes in that land. I ask you, Lord, this night to begin to pour out upon those that have not loved their life to the death, Lord, in that land, and that there's been much blood, Lord, that has been sown in that land as seed of kingdom. Kingdom, through those martyrs, Lord. So we're asking you to cause that kingdom. We're watching it, Lord. Come to the surface. We're watching that underground church begin to rise up and stand, Lord. And we thank you that there is a great and mighty army in that persecuted land where persecution has caused them. Lord, they have to believe for a miracle every day. And so, Lord, I'm asking you for us to begin as a nation and us, your people in this nation, to begin to realize what that persecution creates, Lord. A greater faith, a greater intensity, a greater dependence upon you, Lord, in such a way that even our very breath, day to day, Lord, is dependent upon where you are, what you're saying, and how you're moving through us. So, Lord, I just thank you for that gift that you give, have put in them that they do not love their life to the death, that they will stand, Lord, even as Nora Lamb, even as uh, Watchman Nee, all of those great Chinese people, Lord, that would stand against the force of the government of the persecution to not deny their faith. So I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you they are a strong group that can teach us some things, that can show us how to move in that persecution in Jesus' name. When Jesus taught his disciples to pray, he said, Blessed are you who weep, for now you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and when they say your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. And so were, and for so their prophets, their fathers did the prophets. So, Lord, we thank you um, that you are saying that today... Um, and this season is a time for China to leap forward. Um, during the Cultural Revolution, the government tried to do a great leap forward, but that was based on um, human efforts and worship of man. Um, but, Lord, we thank you that as China depends on you, they're going to do a great leap forward that brings no sorrow and that brings um, no human um, oppression, but it's going to be a great leap forward of joy um, that sustains them even in hardships and trials. Um, that you call them to, Lord. 
thank you, Lord, for this great leap forward in you. When we were worshiping, I heard the name Hong. And we looked it up, Coop looked it up, and one of the meanings is factory. And I saw a man. And either you're a leader who holds an underground church in a factory, or you are someone who is industrial. I don't know the answer to that. But what I do know is that the Lord wants to encourage you. And do not grow weary in doing well. And he is going to send supernatural visitation, angelic assistance to help you. That you will garner many. You will be uh, bringing in many. It will be like a treasure chest of hearts and souls into what you are doing. You are equipped. You are well able. You have everything that you have need of. You are a strong apostolic person person who is well able to hear what the spirit of God is saying. So we say tonight, this is your night to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Do not grow weary. Know that God has his eye on you. He knows your suffering. He knows your worries. He knows what you have need of. And he says, I am providing it, my son. You will have everything to help those around you. So continue in this race. Continue as you press, and you will see great manifestations of miraculous and signs and wonders that will follow you. So one of Chuck's words that he released in 2012 says, China must build what God wants for this season. They endured the testing of the hidden place of last season, but now they must rise up and build for this season. And one of the things that God has called China to build is that highway that goes from China the whole way back to Jerusalem through all those Muslim nations. And one of the things that they are going to need to be able to do that is what they have learned in that hidden place of persecution, where they have learned to rejoice in the Lord. They have learned to say, God is enough. And so, Lord, we just thank you that you have built up in the Chinese church that endurance, that perseverance, that persistence, that setting their eyes on you, that not being deterredness, that they will need to be able to take the gospel the whole way back to Jerusalem. In Exodus 1.12, it's speaking of the Jews, but this also applies to China. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. So we decree this over the persecuted church. We say the more you are afflicted, the more you grow. I also say that um, like the midwives, when they withstood before Pharaoh, they said the, the Israelite, Israelite women have the babies before we arrive. So I say every time, I prophesy and say every time there is this, a persecution or there is a martyr, that another one grows ten times more, that more and more and more and and more and that you are stronger and that you are greater because the more you're afflicted the more you grow I just want to um, give a testimony not um, basically just give thanks for China because in the late uh, 40s um, even in 30 40s there was an incredible revivalist that came from China that brought the revival to Vietnam and his name was John Sung and so uh, there was incredible miracle signs and wonders happening in Vietnam. So we bless China for sending revivalists and evangelists all over the world. Lord, we say, Lord, that you are releasing the end time evangelists like you've never seen before. Lord, we say signs and wonders and miracles, unusual, unusual miracles, Father God. Uh, Lord, we thank you for China. We say that there is a new generation that is coming forth in an amazing way. Lord, we said release now. I believe that there is a sound. I don't know if you can do some Chinese sound. I don't know. Lord, <laughs> Lord we said that there is a new say, sound. Say it, that is say it again. We can't hear us. everything back here. Yes, new sound. New sound. New sound. New sound. This is actually an the old Chinese sound. sound of the evangelist, the end time evangelist. So when we went to China in, what year did we go? 2011, um, we went to the gate that was as far as the um, Back to Jerusalem movement had gone. And it had been a gate that had said that it was very desolate. It was way out in the middle of nowhere. And there was a Chinese poem that said, 
to the flute and to the, all the musical instruments, you can only sing a sad song because this place is so depressed and is so deserted. And uh, just on the way there, we happened to buy souvenirs that were these little flutes, and our tour guide said, oh, well, you know, that's the flute that they're talking about in that poem. And we said, these flutes are going to sing a song of joy. They are going to go through the gates with joy, and they are going to take it the whole way back to Jerusalem with praise. So we're going to play them. <laughs> And this one also has a, a camel on it. So it's also that um, highway of holiness and being redeemed for the prosperity that is linked with the Most High King be released. The desert there was called the singing sands. And so, Lord, we say even the earth in China is going to rise up. It is going to sing your praise. It is going to declare who you are, that it is going to partner with the Chinese evangelists that are going back, that the earth is going to rise up and say, we are the rocks that have been crying out for the revelation of the sons of God, and they are here, and we are rejoicing. Hey! Can we go back to that leap? What was it you were saying about a leap? And then you leapt. We're going to release the leap. Give her a microphone. We're finding it. Okay, we're going. Here we go. This morning, Leanne was saying that Holly had had an injury and she was afraid to leap because of the uh, injury on her leg. And the Lord was speaking to us about not being afraid to leap. When you leap, you have no control. You push off from the ground and you have nothing. But you are in the hands of the Lord. You got it now? You want to read that again? Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For so their fathers did to the prophets. We're gonna leap, leap, yeah. Leap on the mountain, 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 let the rain fall. And those little whistles, let the wind
I, I dreamt pretty much what we're doing here, only we were the persecuted church. We were the ones that I was in a big room with several other Christians, and all of a sudden we were getting lined up to be executed. And I was the first one in line. And I just started singing a praise song about Jesus. I just started. And I looked out, and some people in the, that were uh, observers were raising their hands. And then I got another song, and I started that. And then the young lady was coming with a machine gun, and I was going to be the first in line. And I kept singing. And more people started to kneel down and to praise in the background. And then by the third song, the young lady is all geared up to start the shooting process. And then she kind of drops the gun and says, I can't do this. I can't do this. And she ran over to me and just held me on that. So I'm going to release this to the persecuted church. This was a dream, but this is a dream that will come true to the persecuted churches as they praise and leap and dance under the face of the gun. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you that it's your presence and your glory that brings this on in Jesus' name. Yes. Yes, and as we're praying, I just saw water fall, just falling. And uh, as I look at the waterfall, I see a cloud that was covering something that has been removed. And I feel like the Lord at this hour is releasing His Spirit over China in the mighty way, in a greater way. That's going to cause the veil to be removed off of China. That's going to cause the scale that is in the eyes of the people that's stopping them from seeing clearly to be, to, to be falling off of their eyes. And I just see uh, the church... Even in the underground, the spirit of the Lord is rising within them in a powerful way. And I see signs and wonders being released even in the midst. Miracles. And as they move, I see it's not going to be no more underground. They're going to go out. And they're going to go out. And they're going to release what the God has released over them. And people are going to see the Lord as he is. So we just said that the cover has been removed in Jesus' name. We said the, the, the scales has been falling off the eyes of the people in Jesus' name. And we said no more hating, no more hiding in Jesus' name. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yeah! We will praise you for the rest of our days. The sanctuary. We clap our hands to give you the glory. We clap our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes! We will praise you for the rest of our days. I had just here in several months back read a book by H.A. Baker called Visions Beyond the Veil. And it was about a move of God in China among the children there. And as I went, heard China tonight, the Lord showed me a picture. And he showed me the Holy Spirit hovering over China once again in a greater measure than they've had in a many, many, many years. And he said, this is going to be an outpouring that's not only going to strengthen those who have stood the test of time, but it's going to send a revival fire through the next generation. They're going to begin to encounter God in ways that they had only heard about in days past. This is the season of a new outpouring of Pentecost. So as the next generation from China, I stand in agreement what, with what the sister has said. Um, and I also feel that um, as somebody coming, growing up from China, um, we have, like this other sister said about the veils being, uh, scales being removed is from the spirit of mammon. 
and the spirit of Jezebel. So I'm Lord, and I just from myself, I repent for any、um, alignment I have had with the spirit of Mammon and the spirit of Jezebel. And on behalf of my people and my land, I say that we repent for the alignment with the spirit of Mammon and the spirit of Jezebel. And we say that this is the time that we want to be aligned with the Most High God, Most High God. And we say that this this is the time that we invite the King of Glory to come in. From the、uh, west gate, from all the different direction gates, that Lord, we invite you to come in to the land to be the Lord of that land, to be the Lord of my people, Lord, and I also praise you that this is the time that you are breaking, breaking the、uh, counterfeit of the covenant relationship that everybody knows about Guan Xi, the、uh, relationship culture in China. In the name of Jesus, I just break ties with that culture, with that. Guanxi culture, and I say that this Guanxi culture is coming from the structure of what I can get out of it. But now, Lord, you're establishing your covenant relationship that's based on giving. Lord, you have given your Jesus,、um, God, Father God, you have given your only Son to us so that we can be set free, Lord. And I just say, in China, on the land of China, this. Covenant relationship will be established between you and your children, and among your children, in Jesus' name. This week,、um, I saw an article in the news about China, and the Lord hasn't let me let it go. And so this afternoon, He's like, really read about it. Well, what the Lord was showing me is the article was that、um, a building company. It's called.、Um, Broad Building Sustainability built a 57-foot skyscraper, and 30 feet of that was done in 19 days. And I thought, well, Lord, what are you saying about that? Well, I went and I read about the company today, and it was interesting because they were talking about when you build a skyscraper the old way, you have to do brick by brick. But here, what they did is they they planned ahead for four and a half months, and they made these modules. Modular things, and then they can just go put them in, and they do three floors a day. And I'm like, Lord, this is the apostolic. No longer are we finding somebody to do this ministry and somebody to do this. It's the apostolic in China. Well, when I read about the company, they were saying, and it reminded me, Lucy, of what you just said. It said for a new startup company, perhaps profit is most value. However, Broad is a company distinguished by product, service, and values. In an era of social transformation in China, plagued by vague moral standards, Broad has been sticking to principles such as no pollution, no plagiarism of technology, no cheating customers, no vicious competition, no chain debts, no tax dodging, no bribery, and no malicious conscience. And so it's that righteous seed in China. And I told Lindy I brought my China flag tonight, and I didn't know why. Well, she's like Beth has one, and I realized it has five stars on it. It's the fivefold <laughs> in China. <laughs> so, Father, we say we thank you for this prototype of the apostolic, Lord God, and they are having breakthrough after breakthrough, and they are releasing what has not been released before because of the righteous seed. So, Father, we say that the covenant of Jesus is becoming alive in China. We say that the apostolic is arising in China, and Father, we say that things that have never fit together before are now coming into place in Jesus' name. Lord, we just say that you have even taught this last generation how to move in a line in a way to keep moving, even in a communist government. They've even learned how to come to the top and how to align and how to push influence. But Lord, in the next generation, you're tying these generations together and you're building a new structure-shaking generation that can covenant with you, that can break out of the old, can break up through the old structures and begin to plant your structures. So Lord, we say that you're aligning them and you're designing them and you're refining them, and they're about to break out with an evangelistic thrust. Earlier,、um, when Beth and
when others were waving the flags, it reminded me of a dream I had. Um, in my dream, I saw a baton being passed, and then on the flag, I was studying the parts of a flag, and on the top of the flag was a crown. And so when um, the worship team was singing about um, giving the crown to Jesus, it, the diadem, it reminded me of that um, because um, as a kingdom... God is the ruler of the kingdom and over the flag of China and over that country of China. Um, And so I'm going to read out of Isaiah 35 that says, "Um, The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom like the crocus. Crocus. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. Um, They shall see the glory of the Lord and the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. And it and a high will sh- highway shall be there, and it will be called the way of holiness. Um, Lord, we thank you for all the words that were released about um, the s- singing and the joy that will be in a place that was once dry and desert and dead, and the breaking forth of your water that will bring nourishment um, to those there, Lord. We thank you for the water that will go from China all through the desert in Central Asia and the Middle East, all the way back to Jerusalem. And we thank you for the new standard that you're setting in your heavenly kingdom of righteousness and holiness, where prosperity has no sorrow that is added to it. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and you shall have a song in the night. Come to the mountain of the Lord, see His glory and His might. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard in the power of His word. Mighty one of Israel. Oh, the eyes of the blind shall be opened and they'll see. The ears of the deaf shall hear. The lame man shall jump, leap as a heart. The tongue of the dumb shall sing. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard. The power of his word. The mighty one of Israel. The Lord shall cause His glory, His beauty to be seen. The desert shall bloom and rejoice. Say to them that are fearful of heart, Be strong and listen to His voice. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard in the power of His word. The mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard, his power of his word. The mighty one of Israel. Let all the saintly ones in God rejoice. The battles won, so lift up your voice. Let the name the glorious King. Lift up the standard of triumph and sing. Crown him Lord, the conqueror of evil. He shed his blood to redeem all his people. And now we join the procession of him who tell them and glorious King, oh Jesus, Jesus, glorious one, Jesus, Jesus, God's risen Son, Jesus, Jesus, forever will sing, Jesus, Jesus, will hail you as King. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard in the power of His word. The mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. He's the mighty one of Israel. His voice shall be heard in the power of His word. The mighty one of Israel. 
power of his word, the mighty one of Israel. So I just want to follow up with what Carrie came up and released. And this is a word that Barbara Wintrouble gave um, in 2012 on December 12th, 2012, which is Lucy's birthday about the apostolic arising in China. And she says, I hear the spirit of the Lord say that this season I'm going to uncover my apostles in that nation in a new way. For the Lord has said there's going to be an identification of those that I have raised up. And there's going to be such a triple portion of the apostolic anointing that's going to rest upon those leaders. And I'm going to release, it's like a highway of glory that God's going to release, release in that nation. And God says that many have been hidden away in days past and now they are coming to the forefront. And so, Lord, we just agree with your word, and we say this is the time for China to arise. This is the time for the apostolic to be established in China so that they can build exponentially as they go out. And as we close this part of praying for China, I just want to ask Lucy to come up and release in Chinese a blessing and an affirmation of what we have prayed. Tianfu 我们感谢你阿爸天父，我们感谢你圣灵来充满我们。这样祷告是奉主耶稣基督的圣灵，阿门。One of the reasons we wanted to do China tonight was that Chuck has said prophetically that China by 2016 will be one of the most influential nations in the world. And the state that we're praying for tonight is New Hampshire, and it also in 2016 will be one of the most influential states in the nation because that's where the first presidential primary is going to be held. And so, Lord, as we come tonight, we just lift up New Hampshire to you. And Lord, we say as they hold that place of steering the election for the rest of the country, and of setting the course of what will be and what will not be and who will be and who will not be. Lord, we just ask for you to vav your spirit down into New Hampshire tonight. Lord, we ask for a standard of righteousness to be established there. When we were researching um, New Hampshire, we found that the word Hampshire can mean either a black and white um, sheep or a black and white pig. And so, Lord, we say that New Hampshire is going to set our course as a nation to be a sheep nation, that we are not going to wallow in the pig pen, that we are not going to be the prodigal son and go out and sit, sit with the pigs, but that we are going to be a sheep nation. We are going to come into the fold, and we speak to New Hampshire tonight, and we say it is time to line up so that you can set the course for our nation. Take my alabaster box and die. I break it open. So let the praises arise. Lie, 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 lie. Oh, let the praises arise. Lie, 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 lie. Oh, let the praises arise. I 
I just want to be a sheep. Bye. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. Give the shepherd my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Everybody now, you Hampshire. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. Give the shepherd my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. What we say, New Hampshire's going to be your sheep. They just want to be a sheep, Lord. They just want to be your sheep. Shepherd my soul to keep you. Yeah. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. I don't want to be a goat. No. I don't want to be a goat. No. Live a life without a hope. No. I don't want to be a goat. No. What do you want to be? I just want to be a sheep. Bye. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. Give the shepherd my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Bye. Something goes with this song, you know. New Hampshire, we say you will be as one that would be like a shepherd that will go after the one that's lost. And you will leave the 99 and go forth and go out. Because your state will be filled with those that have been broken and dispossessed. And you will see them come in. Even in the herds, you will see them. So you will be one that's anointed to go out for the one. And that's even in the government. There is a new arisement that's taking place where the government is going to shift and they're going to see the wealth and see the um, oh, a potential that is in the men and women that are in their nation. And so we just, in their land. So we just thank you, Lord, that there is a new anointing over them for the prodigals and for the lost and for the dispossessed. And some of them have governmental anointings in them. This is the younger generation that you're going to draw into your land. And they are going to be ones that will serve in an apostolic kingdom frame. And they will be the ones that will speak the word of the Lord. So there are those that have a mark upon them of the Lord that you have not seen. And they are the ones to go after. For they will bring great wealth into your land. Great wealth of the kingdom of God. I don't want to be a sandwich. Go ahead. <laughs> um, New Hampshire is known as the granite state, but of a bunch of the United States, it has a fewest people that have um, believers in it or that have religious affiliation that is with Christianity. Um, so we declare um, that New Hampshire will be a state that is founded on the rock rather than on shifting sands. And we thank you that New Hampshire is on the coastline, um, but it will not be foolish, but will be founded on Jesus Christ, the solid rock. It was the first state that uh, signed the Declaration of Independence. And what I'm hearing, there were several points at which they were first fruit for our nation. And what I'm hearing out of these declarations is the Lord is calling them once again to a first fruit position. He's calling them once again to a first fruit position in, as a state for kingdom release to come in that, y that younger generation. I saw them coming in like in, uh, in huge uh, uh, numbers coming in, that younger generation rising up and making a declaration and taking a stand. You know, they're called Minutemen, right, out of that state? And But they were like coming in in, in in these huge numbers and the Lord said this will be a, one of the signs of the, gen the next generation standing up is when you see those many coming out of that state of New Hampshire to stand up and say I serve a God who cannot lie. I serve a God who does not lose a battle. I thank you Lord for this generation rising up out of New Hampshire. First fruit Lord of kingdom release Lord out of that land, out of that generation. We say return to your first fruit. I Identity, New Hampshire, in Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is 
sinking sand. Other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood, his oath, his covenant, his blood attend me in the whelming flood. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, other ground is now, when Dutch and Chuck went into New Hampshire in 2005, they said they prophesied over that state that their calling was Gates and government, and they were the hammer state. So what I'm seeing is when they prepare to explode that granite, they evolve things, they evolve the explosive down into the granite with a hammer. And so I see that in this election, they have evolved some things already into their state that are going to cause explosions into the spirit realm, that are going to open them up for this first fruit produce that's going to come into this election. So, New Hampshire, we speak over you, and we say that when you turn the enemy at the gate, the Lord is your strength, and we call a new strength in you as you become the hammer that will drive those stakes into the granite for this election. In Jesus' name. Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. So Father, we thank you for the role that New Hampshire plays in the future of our nation, and I just call for a fresh release of the spirit of prophecy to be released into New Hampshire, that Lord, uh, when you were saying that about bobbing and the granite, I thought, you know, you got to be pinpoint accurate or you cause a mess. So Father, we just call for your word to be released in a new way over New Hampshire, that Father, there would be no double-mindedness in the word that is spoken, but that it would be clear and it would be accurate. And so Father, we bind the mouth of the enemy and the father of lies that would cause the atmosphere to be full of words that are not of you. And so, Father, we thank you that you are alive and well, and you are speaking over New Hampshire. And whether they're a cow or whether they're a sheep or a pig, they're black and white. They are clear. It's this or it's this. And so, Lord, we call for a new level of discernment to arise in New Hampshire. We call, Lord, that verse that says, Woe to you who call evil good and good evil. Lord, we say there's a company in New Hampshire that's going to arise, that's going to have discernment, that's going to be able to say that's evil and that's good and it's black and white and that's it. New Hampshire, we thank you for China, we thank you for Israel, we thank you for this 29th day to take a leap forward, Lord, we thank you for everything that has been declared, for everything that has been poured out here, and we invite you to join us tomorrow night at midnight, we'll be here in the prayer tower praying some more. <laughs> shout to the Lord, shout to the Lord, shout to the Lord. To the Lord, shout to the Lord, shout to the Lord. Well, it breaks a heavy oath, it breaks a heavy oath. When you shout, you shout to the Lord. Oh, it breaks a heavy oath, it breaks 
a heavy oak when you shot, when you shot to the bull. I don't want to be a Sadducee. I don't want to be a Sadducee. Because a Sadducee so sad, you see. I don't want to be a Sadducee. I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be a sheep. Give the shepherd my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. I wanted to reach back for that one.